Good morning YouTube and welcome to our channel. Have you heard of adverse drug reactions? Adverse drug reactions, ADRs, are like those annoying side effects of medication that can cause a lot of trouble. You know, like the headache that won't go away, the dizziness that makes you feel like you're on a roller coaster, or the rash that makes you want to scratch your skin off. ADRs can be mild or severe, and some can even be life-threatening. They can happen to anyone, at any time, and with any medication. So, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks and how to prevent them. Our topic today. In this video, we will discuss adverse drug reactions, ADRs, which are unwanted or harmful effects that occur when a person takes a medication. ADRs can range from mild to severe and may occur with any type of medication, whether it is prescribed or purchased over the counter. ADRs can happen to anyone, but some people are at higher risk than others. Common Symptoms of ADRs The most common ADRs include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, headaches, and allergic reactions. These symptoms are usually mild and go away on their own but they can be a sign of a more serious problem. More severe ADRs can include liver damage, kidney damage, heart problems, and even death. Causes of ADRs ADRs can be caused by a variety of factors, including the patient's individual characteristics, the medication itself, and how the medication is used. Some ADRs are predictable and occur frequently, while others are rare and unpredictable. It is important to note that not all ADRs are caused by medication. Other factors can also contribute to adverse reactions, such as food allergies, environmental factors, or pre-existing medical conditions. Classification of ADRs Adverse drug reactions, ADRs, are a common problem associated with medication use. ADRs can be classified into several different categories based on their mechanism of action, severity, and time of onset. Here are the categories or types of adverse drug reactions from type A to type E. Type A or augmented reactions. These are the most common type of ADRs, accounting for around 80% of all adverse reactions. They are dose-dependent and predictable meaning they occur in a known and expected manner. For example, antihistamines are known to cause drowsiness, which is a predictable and expected side effect. Type A reactions usually occur shortly after starting the medication and are usually reversible once the medication is discontinued or the dose is reduced. Type B or bizarre reactions these are rare and unpredictable ADRs that do not have a dose-response relationship. They can occur even with low doses of medication and can be severe or life-threatening. Type B reactions are often caused by an individual's genetic makeup or immune response to a medication. For example, some people may develop an allergic reaction to penicillin, which can cause swelling, hives, and difficulty breathing. Type C or chronic reactions. These are long-term ADRs that occur after prolonged use of a medication. They are often dose-dependent and may not be noticeable until months or even years after starting the medication. Examples of type C reactions include osteoporosis caused by long-term use of steroids or liver damage caused by long-term use of certain medications. Type D or delayed reactions. These are ADRs that occur after a delay following medication use. They may occur weeks or even months after the medication has been discontinued. Type D reactions are often caused by chronic exposure to a medication or its metabolites. An example of a type D reaction is tardive dyskinesia, a movement disorder that can occur months or even years after taking certain medications. Type E or end of use reactions. These are ADRs that occur after discontinuing a medication. They are often caused by the withdrawal of a medication or its metabolites from the body. Examples of type E reactions include rebound hypertension after discontinuing blood pressure medications or seizures after discontinuing anticonvulsant medications. 
Risk Management To reduce the risk of ADRs, it is important to take medications as prescribed and to follow the instructions on the label. Patients should also inform their healthcare provider of any pre-existing medical conditions or allergies they may have. If an ADR does occur, it is important to report it to the healthcare provider. This information can help identify potential safety issues with the medication and inform future treatment decisions. Preventing ADR There are several other ways to prevent ADRs. Do not share your medication with others. Everyone's body reacts differently to medication, so it's essential to take only the medication prescribed to you. Read the label. It is essential to read the label before taking any medication, whether it's prescribed or over-the-counter. The label contains important information about dosage, side effects, and how to take the medication correctly. Be aware of potential interactions. Some medications can interact with each other, causing adverse reactions. Therefore, it's important to inform your healthcare provider of all the medications you're taking including vitamins and supplements. Keep track of your medications. Keep a list of all the medications you're taking, including the dosage and frequency. This will help you and your healthcare provider keep track of your medications and prevent potential drug interactions. Be cautious with new medications. When starting a new medication, it's essential to pay close attention to any new symptoms or changes in your body. If you notice anything unusual, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Report any ADRs to the FDA. If you experience an adverse drug reaction, you can report it to the FDA through their MedWatch program. This information can help identify potential safety issues with medications and inform future treatment decisions. By taking these steps, patients can help prevent ADRs and ensure they receive the safest and most effective treatment possible. Remember, it's important to be proactive and informed about your medication use to avoid potential adverse reactions. Closing Perspectives In conclusion, ADRs can be a serious and sometimes life-threatening problem. It is important to be aware of the potential risks associated with medication use and to take steps to minimize these risks. By working closely with healthcare providers and reporting any adverse reactions, patients can help ensure that they receive the safest and most effective treatment possible. Like and subscribe. If you found this video on the adverse drug reactions in medical science useful, be sure to like and subscribe to our page for more content on the latest trends and developments in education. Thank you for your support.